Mate, here we are. Kenda, what do you reckon? Oh, Keen as? Oh, it's awesome. Just been awesome. We've, well, we've already seen the testing day. We've seen the first testing day last yeah. night. We saw uh, a little bit of the action. Mm. And um, I think while we were doing our live show last night, there was a um, uh, three second pass. Yeah, Australian record breaker. Yeah. 394, I think it was. Yeah, how good was that? We completely missed it. Like, we were doing our live show. We actually saw it and it didn't click, that, yeah. what we'd just seen. Mm. So uh, until afterwards, and we mm. watch it like, oh man, that was a three second pass. Yeah. <laughs> so there should be heaps more action. We've got the grudge racing tonight. So this is mm. our, um, the first day of racing with the grudge racing, right? We've got yeah. testing on now. From six o'clock, the yeah. grudge racing starts. So. Yeah, so uh, we'll bring you a bit of the action and yeah, let's we'll go and have a chat to some people out there and see what's going on at Kenda. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So how are you going? You've made the trip over from WA. The, you've got two cars over here for the team? Yep, we've got the Black Judeo and now we've got this one. This one was maybe six weeks ago we decided to put this bad boy together. And so we've uh, pushed it and we've made it happen. Everyone's just busted themselves, but everyone's put in the effort and we finally got here. We did all the rear end work. Um, Eddie and Tony and everyone from Actors Automotives, they Pulled, they sorted out all the engine, gearbox, all that sort of thing. So we got all the chassis sorted, got it back to them. They put it all back together and then it was just a final push. Yeah, right. Right and here. did you have a test last night? So we managed to do one run that wasn't, it was, it's that thing in drag racing, isn't it? Where if one thing falls, you know, we've been trying to change a lot of things throughout the car just to make sure that we're from the start onto it. Yeah. And in doing so, it's caused other things to unfold but that's why you've got the couple of test days we managed to do one in Perth got a few little gremlins sorted but we'll get there and the black one how did it run it went okay but we're in the same thing we changed some fuel injectors and that's caused another Pandora's box and things so <laughs> yep. what we're doing is we're bringing everything back to what we know and where we knew it worked and from there we're gonna try and keep cruising on but we've got flex plate issues at the moment so we'll get this down the track and try and juggle between them and then go from there yeah no worries all right well we'll keep an eye on you all weekend Lovely. maybe touch base and see how you go yeah. later in the weekend too easy Thanks. thank you Kurt, we're here from Overtaking Lane, mate, and I'd like to learn a little bit about what goes into the prep on this track, because you've come all the way from America, yeah, and they've flown you out here, I believe, to yeah. uh, do some prep on this track. Yeah. Mate, what, what's, I guess, what goes into it, and what's different to a normal drag race, mate? All right, that's probably the, the let's start with what's different. Yeah. Um, so obviously you got slicks, and you got radios. So a slick tire has a lot of sidewall on it, real flexible. Uh, radials do not. They have a very stiff sidewall. Um, slicks grow, radials don't. Yeah. So those are the two biggest difference in the tires. A slick tire wants to spin. You have to spin a slick. Even though you, your car is hooking up and you can feel it inside, a slick is spinning. Yeah. And, and you control that with wheelie bar, torque converter, clutch, timing, how much your spin is and how fast your spin goes to a full hookup. With, with radials, there is no spin. 
um, if, a, if a radial tire spins, it, it spins. <laughs> There's very little saving it. Right. So, to combat that, the, the rubber on a radial track is much, much thinner. Uh, probably a 32nd of an inch. And that, especially in the daytime, because the main thing is we're putting so much glue on these things. Uh, probably four or five times the amount of glue that you put on a slick track. Right. And uh, I've guessed these guys probably spent uh, $14,000 in glue this weekend. Wow, that's amazing, so, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so you'll also see us out there scraping it some to get, whenever you have glue and heat, kind of creates slime, and it's you, you can't hook up on that. Right. And uh, so we need the glue, but we can't have the slime. So we'll go out and we'll scrape it every now and then. We'll just take the top layer off and keep it thin. That's also why you see them when they do their burnouts. Uh, you have your funny cars and top fuel cars. They'll do the big, long burnouts. Yeah. We don't do that here. Um, the rubber is so thin and there's so much glue on top of it. You do your burnout back here in the, the rear part of the lanes, get your tires clean, warm, and then you just roll out. You chop the throttle early. You don't want to go over the start line at all with nope. your burnout at no, all. No, That's not under power. Yep. But just roll through it and you'll see these tires leave a nice path of rubber. Yep. Back up on that rubber and let it go. Yeah, okay. And, uh, so that's that's kind of the biggest difference. Um, it takes a whole lot of, of rotating. Uh, they built a rotator here. Uh, we licensed a company, Aldridge, yep. uh, to build our equipment here. And that's brand new. And then we've got a spray rig yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, look at this spray rig. This thing is... This is brand I've, new? I've seen, yeah, it's brand new. This is, And I'm not just saying it. Uh, Justin Simpson and Clint here built it. This is the nicest spray rig in the world, not the country. The world. Because you've done some big events. Well, you do uh, do big, massive yeah, events, Yeah, we do big you? ones, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm at pretty much all the big ones. Yeah, right. And uh, this is nice. You guys, I, I'm not sure you, I'm not saying it like that, but <laughs> I'm not sure you know what you got here because these guys are wholehearted. They, they build a $30,000 rotator. This thing was probably, who knows how much. I think they had to call NASA to license it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> probably. And what do you think of the, the, this series out here in Australia? Have, have you enjoyed yourself yeah, so yeah, far? Absolutely. I mean, um, there again, I, I, this is what I do for a living. I'm at races every weekend. Uh, I've got a, several crews. We're doing three races this weekend around the world. This is the most fun I've had doing radial racing in, in five years. Yeah. I mean, it's just a kick. The Australian people are so nice, so friendly. And, uh, God, I can't wait to come back down here. And what do you say to anyone thinking about uh, getting out there and having a bit of a go on the track? Do they get out and have a crack at a radial? Absolutely. I mean, radial racing to me is just kind of where it's at. It becomes a tuner's race. It's not just throw it at it and go. You got to finesse. Yeah. And so you got to use this up here more than that. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's a lot of keyboard tuning, and it's just uh, it's a chess game, and it's it's so fun. You'll see them out here today. There's guys that are going to struggle because we're warm. Radials and heat are very difficult. Right. Um, where a slick tire, it's no big deal to run in a 150 degree track temperature. They like it. You know, you can get that controlled spin. Out here, you can't do that. You got to tip Completely different so, game. Yeah, like during the day, you probably won't see those. You know, we had quite a few three-second runs last night. You're probably not going to see that during the day because they're going to have to go point A, point B, take it real nice and easy, get it down to the track, and get a wind light. Yeah. And if you spin the tires, you're not going to get a wind light. So they're going to play smart as we go into the evening. Watch out. When we when we're, we cool down, it's we're all going to go fast. <laughs> That's excellent. Yeah. And uh, and just one last thing, I guess. The, we talk about the prep on the track. There was a massive amount of prep on the track before we had anyone out here, wasn't there? Sure. You've, you've scraped all the rubber off, yes. right? We took it all off, we put it back on, <laughs> um, and that helps it adhere to the concrete better. It's fresh, live rubber. Um, they call this, I'm not being a smart ass, they, they call this track prep for a reason because it's preparation. Yeah. You come out, you, you totally remove the track, put a new racetrack in, you do that almost every day. Wow. And uh, so it takes a lot of preparation. It's not just come out and spray the track and go. And you're watching really closely every run. You're, 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 you're looking at what's going on, if there's any damage to the track, minute, right? Yeah, because we're so thin on the rubber. Uh, when a car spins the tires, it, it takes the, the rubber down to the concrete, and then you don't have any adhesion for the next car. So you'll see us out here jumping out and filling those with, with heat and rubber from back here. It's a... The track prep's gone to such a level now that it's, I don't want to say it's difficult to watch because it's exciting, but we're out there working on the track a lot. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we were able to catch you now because I know it's about to start and you're going to be full on for the next, what, 
12 oh, hours. 12 hours. And, and <laughs> if then not we're more. done and we'll go drink some beer. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Mate, thank you. Thanks for everything. No worries. Come Thanks for being out here. Let's have fun. Done deal. Out here to have a run in your XB. We came over because we we're impressed by your, your Chev <laughs> car, car. Yeah. But um, this about shines the B a little bit. <laughs> it does. But how are you going to go? Is, is this your first test hit today? Or yeah, first hit, hit, hit today. Um, we're just running on unleaded fuel, so we're looking for a tune on unleaded. Right. Uh, we run last Kenda. Yep. We're about equal fifth, I think, in the points. So right. Oh, cool. So we're at the top end, so we just need to be consistent. And, some good times, so yeah. So you just be testing, tuning yeah, this afternoon? Yeah, testing, tuning this afternoon, just read the plugs, see how they're looking, see how it's working. And then yeah. get ready for tomorrow. Let's ride to the park tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out, we'll watch yeah, you. Yeah, no, we'll have fun, we'll the wheels up. No worries, <laughs> thanks for having a chat. Yeah, no worries, thank you. Mate, uh, twin turbo Hemi in this ute. It's, yeah, mate. Uh, it's pretty sick. Got a bit, got a bit of steam, yeah. Yeah, got but you've steam. had a few problems. So. Had a few issues. We broke the diff on Thursday, um, fixed it last night, put the diff back in the car this morning, uh, made one hit, didn't leave the start line, but we're here now, we're going to run with the drung and see what we can do. You're still in with a chance of five grand, yeah, eh? That's it, mate, yeah. 100%. What do you think of this Kender event? I think, I'll, yeah, I love the Kender event. It's really good. Um, like radial racing is just taken off here in Australia. It's a really exciting form of racing. Uh, it's more it's the type of racing that everyone can come and do. Yep. The um, thing I love about it is they still look like a car. You know, you, you get your funny cars, you get all that sort of stuff. You know, they just don't look like a car. You yeah. get a lot of street looking cars here. So it's a good time. It's a pretty cool event. Yeah. And, um, really late cool. night, eh, after last night. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so <laughs> see what we can do, roll out and um, have a good time. That's what we're here for. No worries. Well, good luck tonight. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. You're out here in the Mustang? Yep. Yeah, so, and you've, uh, who have you drawn tonight? For... We've got Wade Wagstaff, so Wade just went 390 last run, so yeah, we'll see if we can give him a run this, this run. And, and how did you feel with the testing today? How'd it go? Uh, still a new combo, only seven or eight passes in, so we're still learning a few things and making adjustments on the run, and we backed around from the last run within 30 minutes, so we haven't had a chance to change too much, but a few little adjustments, so yeah. hopefully we can stick it and give him a bit of a run, so. And what do you think of this event? This oh, awesome, racing. awesome, yeah, yeah. Used to really enjoy the lights out stuff yep. that we used to run here. Um, hasn't been on for a while, so it's the first one back like this, so oh, yeah, really enjoy it. Just, I'll enjoy it more when my car's working better. So. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Well, good luck, mate. Thank you. Thanks no for talking to us. Thanks, boys. Cheers. are on you this weekend so far. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> no pressure. No. <laughs> See how we go. Down the try. Right. And it, look, this is a great car. Uh, look, just having a look at this thing. The, yeah. um, when you sort of see it from the stands and you have a look, like it, you, you look at the paint work that's been done on it, and it just looks like a normal old 57 Chev running out there with a bit of changes, but yep. it's all yep. airbrushed on. There's yep. a bit of work going into it, eh? Yeah, no, it works well, and I mean, we've had it on 10.5 tyre, big tyre, and now the radial, and 
yeah, it seems to be a pretty happy car all around, so... Yeah, right, and, and that's good. You did a stint in the States with it as well a little while ago? Yeah, so it's pretty much identical as we raced it over there. Um, just obviously power management a bit different. Uh, so yeah, we went 379 over there. Yeah, hopefully the track comes around here and we can try and match it. All right, good luck. Thank you. Overtakers, how are you going? We've got Ben Bray here with us. He's having a ball out here. What do you reckon? Yeah, up? so far so good. Uh, what have we got? Three runs left, so um, the 200 still available. Still got to try and catch Wagstaff's 82, which I don't think is possible. Yeah. But hey, I'm still here. I'm enjoying it and I'm smiling. And that last run, you weren't too far off the 200, were you? No, 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 198. So, you know, the, we tricked it up a little bit. I put a little bit of wing on the back of it because it started to move a bit. I'm going to go for it, I won't lie, but if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. So there's, what, 20 cars here that can do it. So one of us is going to get it tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah. And I'd probably say this blue thing in the background, Sean Hale, he's probably got the best bet right now. Yeah, right I. There you go. He's there's only the five mile an hour off. There's the tip. So, uh, and um, what do you reckon, Kender again next year? Are we going to bring another door? We'll probably bring, bring two of them out. Bring two. Dad, Dad reckons that he wants to have a crack. He, he was a bit <laughs> nervous at the start, but he says that I've sort of sorted the car out enough that he feels comfortable to come and do it. So, why not? Mate, that was great. Look, it's a real crowd pleaser, and uh, we appreciate you bringing it out here and showing everyone. No, thanks for having me. We've had a, had a live feed going, and yep. everyone's calling on the live feed, wondering <laughs> when you're coming out next. So. No, well, that's good. Thanks to all the fans. Enjoy it. Thanks to you guys for live feeding it so everyone can watch it, and hopefully next year we come back with something bigger, badder. Perfect. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Guys, we've got Terry Sang here, from uh, all the way from Paramount Performance from Toowoomba. Yep. Always down here at the track though, aren't you? Yeah, I live here for most weekends. <laughs> Are you running two cars today? Uh, I was trying to run my, other, my car as well as Kyle's, so, but um, we thrashed to get it done. We literally finished it last night, so, and we're having some dramas with some throttle bodies, so that's it for it today now. So. Yeah, okay. Now, I saw you run 199 mile an hour. Yeah. You're pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to crack that 200, obviously. I, I reckon it's here right now. Temperature's dropping. This, this, is, this, this is, it. is it, and there's four cars capable. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're the fourth car. The other three are in front of us. But was there a big tussle? So we'll see what who happens. could get up there first? Was there? Oh, everyone was rushing around here. <laughs> we got blo We got held up in the as we were towing around. There was a car loading, and we had to turn around and go back. And anyway, that's all right. That's how it happens. But hey, you still got to do it. Yeah. It's still got to be done. We just got to wait and see. Potential's still be an there. It's right there now. Nah, for really. sure. Well, there's a lot of people been uh, on the live feed as well. Uh, they're, they're well known yeah. out there. So, uh, yeah, it's great to see you and great you to come along and have a chat to us. Yeah. So, really no appreciate worries. it. Thanks, Terry. Cheers.
now we're back with him. He's just done it. You know, I, I'm sorry I lied. I did say Hale was going to do it, and I really wish he did. Them guys have worked very hard to do it. All these guys here have. But um, the credit to them all, they were all in the breaking area. They all hugged me. They celebrated with me. It was, it was really joyful. Mum and Dad are here. Everyone's crying. The kids, the wife, everyone's having a good time. And I um, don't know if you can see it, but that's the time card there. Check it out. So 396, 201. That's the first 200. And uh, I tell you now, Grubby gave me a pretty good drag race. He left me for dead on the start line and I had to drive around him. So uh, what can I say? The Kendra, Justin and um, Scott for the event they've put on, man, it's just it's aesthetic. All my sponsors have been a dream and here we are having a good time. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Two seconds. Um, thanks to Justin and Scott, an awesome event. Everybody involved in it. It's uh, great. Thanks a lot for having me. Um, I've had just an awesome weekend. Uh, everybody that's helped me, it's been amazing. Uh, it's been great fun. My family, Dad, for letting me cut the car up and have some fun in it. Um, outside of that, Willow Bank, everyone, the girls for standing around all day, the wife for putting up with me, and um, hopefully next time I can uh, make the final and do a bit better. Love you, Benny Brown. Kenda, what do you reckon? What a weekend it was. It was it's all, awesome. It's all over. We're back here now editing. Mm -hmm. And wow, there's a bit there to get through in there. Yeah, there is. It's taken some time. Yeah, we've, uh, we've, we had, had, a, we've like, had quite a few events to do as well on yeah. top of this. But, um, we had like, what, eight or nine interviews or something like that? I think it was like 20 minutes of footage that was just interviews. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We're trying to find some room to put some cars in there as well and mm -hmm. hopefully keep you engaged. Uh, I hope you've stuck through to the end. Yeah. Appreciate it if you have. Because, um, yeah, that's what it's all about. We try and do our best to bring you enough to keep you engaged for 
however long it takes to get through all that. Mm-hmm. And um, we had fun. Yeah, we did. It was a lot of fun. Awesome event. Thanks to Scott and Justin for organising it all and and inviting us out there. Yeah, big thanks to everyone uh, involved with Kenda. Mm. Uh, Dave Reed as well on Point Media. Yeah, that was uh, he was he's always awesome and looks after us while we're out there. Mm-hmm. And um, and just the whole drag racing community. Yeah, I got to say one big family out there, especially at that radial event. It was yeah, um, it was it was cool. Everyone was really welcoming to us and mm. uh, uh, helped us learn a lot. Yeah, you know. yeah, and and thanks to Kurt as well for taking the time to talk to us about all the track prep. I know he had a pretty busy weekend there, but it, he had a lot of fun too. Yeah, he did. He said it was a great event. He, he really mm. enjoyed it, and um, yeah, we, we learnt so much. Yeah. We really did. Yeah. No, I, I I reckon. What do you think? I think we'll definitely get out there again. Do you think it was one of the best events we've been to? I think it is the best event we've been to this year. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, at the top of the. Top of the pile, that's mm. for sure. So maybe um, the other round of Kendra I went to was up there as well. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't there then. So radio racing, guys, got to get out there and check it out. It's, mm-hmm. it's great. And pop out of the pits and say good day to the guys, you know, when they're not flat out busy working on the cars. Yeah. Um, because they're more than welcome to, to explain a little bit about what they do yeah. and um, and a bit about their cars. It's, it's pretty cool. Mm. But uh, if you like the video and you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the bell as well. It's an important one. That way you're getting notified when we upload a new video. Yeah, because uh, we do a lot of other stuff as well. It's yeah. not just um, the car meets or the drag meets. It's also uh, there's a live show every Thursday mm. night, uh, which is more about car news, what's in the news for the week yeah. and what's on. Mm-hmm. Uh, then what else we got? We've got all the live from the events as well. Yeah. So... Uh, we're out at drag racing. We'll try and bring you some free live uh, action and mm-hmm. uh, or wherever we are. So be sure to hit that notification so you don't miss out. Yeah, and and another important one is hit like as well. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. That's that's the main thing. Share it out with all your friends and family, and, and just keep watching. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. And uh, comment what was your favorite car. So we'll right. see you in the next one. Stay on the right line.